Hello and welcome to GCSE Drama. Uh, this is Mrs Walker and I'm joined here by Mr Wilson and we're going to be telling you a little bit about our drama course. Okay, so we're going to run through some of the units that we do or components uh, and show you some clips of what our students have been doing over the last couple of years. Let's go for the first one. Uh, now, the first thing we do in year 10 is we do a course introduction where we run through various different styles of theatre. Some of those you'll be familiar with. You would have done theatre in education with Chicken in year eight. Uh, you may have covered some aspects of epic theatre looking at Splendid in year nine. Um, and here's a quick clip of some of our students who presented some TIE work to the students of Whitebridge Primary School. It's one of the big projects they do in year 10. Hi, I'm Jessica. And I'm Maddie. She's my sister. She's my sister. My sister. Our sisters. <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. I mean, what's not to like about me? I'm strong. I'm athletic. I'm funny. I'm cool. <coughs> People like who I like. I better got more girlfriends than you. <laughs> And they have lots of fun working with the primary school students doing that. And now let's look at the three exam components and tell you what, how the things are assessed. OK, so the first exam component uh, is component one, and that's called devising theatre. Uh, the way that this works is that you're in groups and you create original and uh, your own original piece of theatre. So you are set a stimuli by the exam board. There's uh, four of them for you to choose from. And this is what inspires your piece. So you go away and you research. So you've got the appropriate information to put into your piece and it informs your piece. You choose your practice, practitioner or performance style um, from the knowledge where you feel that you you work best in which practitioner works best for you um, and you state your artistic intention so what do you want your audience to go away thinking about from your piece what what do you want them to get from your performance and as part of that you you perform your piece to an audience and as you go along you create a go of your creation process um, this is worth 40 percent of your final GCSE grade and both of these um, components are marked um, within school and sent off for moderation to the exam board. Um, we're about to show you a clip now of some past year 11 students and their devised piece. Um, all of these students went away with top marks for this performance. This is not some disease. I'm sick of God and the stupid Bible controlling this. Conversion therapy. I Okay, so that's a little clip there from the devised piece. You do that in the autumn term of year 11. As soon as that's finished around about uh, December time, you go on to component two. Component two is only worth 20% of the exam, but it's just a performance. Um, and what you do is you take two extracts from a play and we'll give you a, a range of plays that you can use and you perform a group piece uh, as, as part of that play, or it could be a duologue with two of you, or it could even be a monologue with just you on your own doing the monologue. That's up to you, but you do two bits. So you could do a group bit and a monologue. Um, there's no written element to that. Here's a very short clip of two of our students from last year, who again did, did very, very well indeed. And this is an extract from a play called Two. Who was you thinking of? Who? 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 No! No one at all! Can't I have my own mind? If I said I was thinking of every man in him, Aiden, or you, and the baby, you'd still find a way of torturing me! Torturing! I know what must have done to you now, yeah? And, you know, it's because... Oh, 
I'm always thinking about you and the baby and everything. All right, and I get a bit nervous. All right, please sit down. Didn't expect you to do that, love. Okay, and that was a scripted piece, and now we go on to the final component, component three. So component three is actually your written examination, and it's called Interpreting Theatre. It is in two parts. Uh, section A is your uh, set text study, for which we do DNA. Um, lots of you will be familiar with this because we do um, study it uh, at key stage three. So we look at it more in, co uh, in um, context in key stage four for your GCSE. We uh, explore it practically. We look at the, the storyline and the themes. We um, learn how to write about our answers within the examination. So our written examination, um, we will have an extract, any extract from that play, and we will have to answer the questions um, with regards to the extract that we are given. So we don't know what that extract is um, until we actually get into the exam. However, we will have previously studied the whole play and um, learned about the type of questions we might be asked and how to answer them. The written exam paper in total uh, is an hour and a half. It's 90 minutes long. So section A makes up um, around an hour of that. And in the last half an hour or the first half an hour, if you would like to do it the other way around, there's no way you have to do it, is uh, section B, which is uh, about live theatre, which Mr. Wilson is now about to tell you about. Yeah. So you watch a piece of live theatre uh, and you write about it. You answer questions about uh, how the actors you saw performed the piece, how they engaged the audience and got the messages across. And in previous years, we've invited the theatre company Splendid Productions, who you should be familiar with from watching the DVDs. Um, and they come here and perform live. And then we buy the DVD of that performance. So we have that to revise from as well. So we not only get to watch it live, we get to re-watch bits and pieces as we approach the exams to do our revision uh, which is a really amazing resource that we have. Okay, I'm uh, just going to talk to you quickly about how the course feels. The course really relies on your independence. You can do lots of rehearsals. We might not set much in the way of written homework for some periods of time, but there's often the expectation that you come in, do extra rehearsals after school, lunch times, things like that. You can do lots of research, independent research into themes and ideas. When you get to your devised component, you're going to be researching the topic and researching the, uh, the thing you want to get across to the audience. It is going to be lots of fun, but it's serious fun, making your own work and using your own ideas. But don't take our word for it. No, don't take our word from it. On this slide, you'll now see uh, some of our current and previous GCSE drama students. Um, and you can see we've got some some quotes from them. We asked them how they feel about drama and um, reasons why they chose it. And as you can see, there's a, a whole range of different reasons there. Um, it gives me more confidence and I'm able to express my creativity. Our drama class is like a family. You should do GCSE drama because it's a different experience every lesson. Uh, you honestly will get a lot out of uh, taking the GCSE drama course. And as you can see, one of the quotes there is the teachers give us endless support. Um, and we're really quite proud of that one. Um, yeah, we didn't say so, that, they said that. We left off the one that said drama is pain, <laughs> <laughs> which of course it is. Uh, so if you have any more questions, uh, about what the course is like, uh, you can of course send us an email or drop us a message through your Google Classroom and we'll be happy to explain things to you. But you can see the experience that so many students have had uh, in the last couple of years doing drama, uh, meeting some celebrities, taking their work to other places and performing it all over the place, taking part in uh, national competitions um, and, uh, also, and with the National Theatre and with other organisations. So the, the, the drama family here at Roding is, is an exciting place to be. Yep, we'd love you to have you on board. And if you do have any questions, feel free to get in contact with any of us via your classrooms or emails, as Mr. Wilson said. OK, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.